Rasty McGibbon with the president of Assiniboine Community College, Brandon Manitoba, Mark Frieson. Mark, thanks so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. You guys are two-time defending Women's Division II national champions. And, um, you, you know, I, I, I've got to say, the amount of support that I see uh, for Assiniboine is really overwhelming. Tell, tell me a little bit just about what women's hockey means to your school. It means a lot. You know, uh, the hockey is you know, one of the lifebloods of, the, of Manitoba and the prairies in general. Um, and so it's, a, it's an important uh, piece for our culture. And so for our school, um, obviously this program has generated quite a bit of pride. You know, we had a hit last night on the national news in uh, Canada. I can tell you that doesn't happen every day for our college. No. Yeah. What, what, tell, tell me a little bit about the story they put out. They put out a great story just about, you know, uh, sort of a uh, little engine that could, right? About, you know, a small college from, uh, from Canada playing in this league and uh, looking to be reigning champions for five years, right? Uh, it's sort of um, the David versus Goliath kind of piece. For, for, for some of the people that may not know, um, you know, myself being Canadian, I know the distinction. Tell me a little bit about the Canadian distinction between college and university that probably Americans wouldn't. Yeah, you know, that it was interesting. I was listening to one of the teams we were going to play the other day, Michigan State. They were trying to explain what a community college was. And they were explaining it in U.S. terms. Right. Whereas, you know, in, in U.S., community college is often like a transfer institution. Right. Whereas in Canada, colleges are technical institutions um, where typically the programs are designed to be terminal rather than to go on. In fact, our college actually has degree granting status. We can grant four-year degrees. We don't do much of it because typically you're trying to do things that provide the shortest path between um, them starting and the labor market. So, you know, while we can't offer degrees, uh, we don't do a lot of it. Have you found with the implementation of, of women's hockey that, you know, uh, first of all, it provides an avenue for girls post high school to, you know, c combine education and hockey? Um, and then secondly, it provides a springboard for girls that want to continue to play to move on to, to either you know university or when I was talking to Larry, he said that some girls are coming back for additional programs. Yeah, for sure. And you know, uh, in fact, one of the things that uh, colleges in Canada, we do a lot of post-degree programs. So people do a university degree and then come to us for a one or two year post, uh, um, post-graduate sort of program. In fact, when you look at where our students come from, um, actually three other uh, universities in the <laughs> province are ahead of a high school. So our average age is about 27, so you know, we do have a different dynamic that way. But in terms of you know, providing that avenue for uh, women to keep playing the game, that was important to us. And so it, actually our league, our, our local college league dropped hockey in 2010. And we had a, both a men's and a women's team. Our men's team actually were provincial champs that year. Um, but when the league dropped hockey, we decided to hang on to our women's team. And we played in the senior league in Manitoba for a number of years because we wanted to provide that outlet for folks to keep going. And women's hockey was, was important to the, the fabric. There were lots of avenues for men, but not nearly as many for women. So we held on to the team. And then um, our, our, our folks saw an opportunity to, to look at ACHA, right? right? And we knew it was a big commitment, um, but it was going to provide sort of the right sort of league for them. And there were so, so many teams in North Dakota, which, you know, are close, as close to us as anybody, right? right? Uh, being about an hour from the border. And so that's been great. When we made the, the jump to ACHA, um, really started to build the program. The caliber of who was coming out to play really changed. And of course, you know, winning a national championship and getting that kind of profile in 2019-20, uh, uh, or 2018-19, that really then changed the number of people who were looking to come. And then even as we built that profile, one of the things we've seen is the number of players from uh, Western Manitoba and from Manitoba in general that are now in the league in other schools has grown substantially. You know, I was looking through the program when we were down in Dallas in, uh, in 20, uh, 2019, there were lots of Canadians on lots of teams. Typically from Ontario, playing in uh, you know uh, in the in the eastern part of the country, but you know as you as we've seen our program grow, we've seen lots of recruiting now in Manitoba, Saskatchewan, from all kinds of teams all over the country. You you probably, to, to my knowledge, are the only school president here at this uh, national tournament. Seventy eight teams represented. What do you think that that speaks to the level of commitment um, of your school and the marriage with ACHA hockey? 
you know, I, I, I think it's, um, for me, it's important to be here to support the team. Um, so I, I want to take that opportunity. I was fortunate I was able to get to Dallas. I wasn't able to get to St. Louis on the Blues are my team. So, you know, oh, that, okay. that was a killer. But yeah, yeah you know, um, so here, here, we, here we are in Boston. Um, you know, I love to, love to come out, support the team, um, and help out. So, uh, you know, I think, it's, I think it means a lot to the, the girls who've mentioned from time to time. It means a lot to them. Um, and, you know, you don't win a national championship every day. These are sometimes once-in-a-lifetime opportunities. Right. So you, you want to be there for it. Women that have come through the program at Assiniboine and, 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 and played hockey, what are some of the uh, life lessons, life characteristics, things that you would want them to take away from their time at Assiniboine? Oh, so so much. Like you know, the uh, they come from such a variety of programs, right? They're going out in all kinds of occupations: social service workers, police officers, uh, nurses. You just see them across the board. You know, uh, uh, the captain of the team. Um, from the year that we had the undefeated season, right? Uh, you know, we're, we're always back and forth. She's a nurse, you know, you can just see the leadership there, what she's gonna take to the rest of her life and the community yeah. is incredible. Um, you know, there were probably as many lessons learned from that, that the year they had the undefeated season and the, the championship, you know, got wiped out, um, you know, about resilience right. as there was from when we won, right? Yeah. Do, do you think, um all of these lessons, resilience, teamwork, um, how, how do you impress upon the women that these are also uh, characteristics, life lessons that will go far beyond hockey? Well, you know, I, I think our coach does a fabulous job of that. I mean, they really building um, that team spirit. I can certainly see it in this this year's team, probably beyond any of the teams we've seen, yeah. right? And, you know, he's, he's got them doing all kinds of off-ice things. They're, they're heavily involved in, in a number of uh, female hockey events. I got, I got a six-year-old, um, you know, it's 10 years younger than any of my other kids, but she started playing hockey this year, and she's, she's involved in some stuff where the Cougars are on the ice, right? She thinks it's the greatest thing since sliced bread to get to interact with the Cougars. You know, she's home, they're watching it on TV, and she's cheering it on um, and it's an inspiration for her right in terms of going on and what she's going to do next and you hope that bleeds over not into you know continuing just with the sport but hey I want to go to college or university right right yeah right well Mark um, thank you for the support not only of being here but also for the ACHA and, and the partnership we have with the Cinnaboyne uh, you know fantastic to have your team here once again look thanks for having me that's great Mark Friesen, president of Cinnaboyne Community College Brandon Manitoba